Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Wednesday. Markets closed mixed with the S&P 500 barely changed and the NASDAQ 100 down four tenths of a percent. The Dow ended higher and the small cap Russell 2000 gained by the most seven tenths of a percent. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, Five of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher with communication services and industrials at the top. To the downside, tech and materials led declines. Looking at some stocks on the move, the Federal Reserve approved a much anticipated interest rate hike that takes benchmark borrowing costs to their highest level in 22 years. The quarter percentage point increase will bring the Fed funds rate to a target range of 5.25% to 5.5%. Fed Chair Jerome Powell added they do not see inflation getting back to 2% until 2025. MetaShares ended up more than 1% and just after markets closed, earnings and revenues beat estimates for the quarter. Daily active users and monthly active users also came in better than expected. Meta's rise in digital ads and an AI push propelled this quarter's results. At Chipotle, shares closed lower, and after, earnings, revenues, and comp sales came in lower than estimates. And the company opened 47 new restaurants during the quarter, less than the 57 analyst forecast. Company executives said inflation hit popular menu items. Shares extended their declines after earnings results came out. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. In data, we'll see the second quarter GDP released and jobless claims in the morning. And then on the earnings front, pre-market, we'll see McDonald's, Royal Caribbean, and Southwest Airlines. Then in the afternoon, we'll see Ford, Intel, and T-Mobile report after markets close. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to TDAmeritradeNetwork.com.